Welcome back to another episode of Titan Academy. Today we will discuss how to configure and publish this document so that it can be generated from Salesforce. First thing to do is to publish this document. I'm logged into Titan in the Word plugin. You will want to set your filters appropriately. You can copy filters from the preview. And then on the publish tab here, you will want to verify that you were using the record ID as a filter somewhere. In this example, we're pulling information from an account and then getting associated contacts and cases. So we want to set our account ID equal to record ID. Let's verify that the account. Now let's verify that the contact is filtering correctly. Contact account ID is equal to the query account ID. That looks good. And let's just double check the case filter. And here we are getting cases where the account ID on the case is equal to the account ID from the account query. Good to go. Next, publish the form. Here we will select upload your template to form. You can choose a new form or an existing one to update one that already exists. Let's create a new one. Click publish to new form. Give it a name. We'll call this Academy Docs example and click publish. We are now finished with the steps to be done in Microsoft Word. We will now want to go into the Titan dashboard. As you can see, we have a new form called Academy Docs Example. This is what we just published. Let's double click on this to open it. This is using the Titan Forms tool as a means of holding that document. You can see the page is blank and we have a field here holding our record ID. A couple of things that we'll go over here. Salesforce integration, document generation, and some forms settings. Let's look at the Salesforce integration. As you can see, the get from Salesforce is already set. That was set when we pushed the document from Word to publish. Let's take a look at these settings. We can see we have mappings from account, contact, and case. That is what we set up in our Word document. So we're good there. Now let's look at the document settings. Go to document generation, word mapping, click configure. This brings up a number of settings. Let's go over the important ones here. You can click on this link to download the template if you need a copy of it. You can view your versions. You see that we are set with the record ID as record ID. We can enable preview before submit if we want. For view with, this is an option to set to specify which of these options you want to use when previewing the document. If you want to preview it as a PDF, select one of the PDF options. If you want to preview it as Word, that's okay to leave as Microsoft. For your output format, their options are output as DOCX or as PDF. If you want to output this document as a Word document, DOCX format, Fine, just leave this as is. In many cases, you will want to generate the document as a PDF. Select PDF. And from here, you will need to choose which conversion tool to use. We recommend using Titan 1. It is the most robust tool. It is the most reliable. There are scenarios where you would want to use Office 365, which has some better ways of handling unique fonts. If you have some fonts that Titan 1 doesn't support, use Office 365. Please note though that that service tends to be slower and it isn't nearly as reliable. LibreOffice the same way. You can also use Titan 2 if that suits your needs, but best recommendation is to use Titan 1 as your tool for generating the PDF. You also have the option to optimize image quality for better performance. If you have a document that brings in lots of images from Salesforce or from some other source, you may want to select this option, which will reduce the image quality, not the size. It will reduce the quality from 100% to 80%, which is not generally going to be noticeable to the human eye, but it will significantly reduce the size of the file and the time taken to generate. So if you use quite a few images, consider selecting this option to optimize the image quality. 
Now, let's cover how to push this document to Salesforce. Let's say you don't want to preview the document, you just want to, to generate it, save it in Salesforce as an attachment. Here, you will want to go to Salesforce integration and set a push. Go ahead and click set push. We are going to push this file to the files object, also known as the content version object in Salesforce. So just search for files. Let's add a comment on this push. Push document as attachment. We'll leave our action set as create. Rule conditions we don't need to set. We do need to map the fields. So open that option. Click set mapping. Two fields that you must set. Number one is the first published location ID. That is the record ID to which this document should be initially attached. So let's find first published location ID. And we are going to set that to record ID. In our example, that is an account. So this document will be created and it will be attached to that account. Secondly, you need to set version data. That is the file itself. Here we will pick word mapping. This is the actual document. This holds the document that we just generated from Word. It will be saved as a PDF and attached in there. You could set other items as well. You may want to set a title. You can put the title from a form field. You can give it a static value. Go ahead and apply. Apply again. Click Finish. Click Save. And that file will now be saved in Salesforce and attached to the account. Additional things that you can do when pushing this file, you can also add a child push to update something on the account. Remember, you have the account ID. If you want to update a flag on that record, say a checkbox saying the document has been uploaded, you could do that here. And it's pretty straightforward. And that's it. That is a general summary of how to publish a document from Word and ready it for use in Salesforce. Thanks for watching.